guys, it's Mr. Rad RC here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the new Bright 124th scale RC Trucks series. Now, these are just simple, cheap little 124th scale miniature trucks. They just run on megahertz frequencies. There's 27 and 49 megahertz. So if you buy two of the same frequencies, you'll get interference from each other's radios. Nothing fancy, non-proportional steering. See, I'm getting nothing, 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 and bam. Nothing, nothing, bam. There's no in-between. It's just full lock steering. Also, same with the throttle. Nothing, 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 and then it goes. Now, these come in around 10 bucks at Walmart. Elsewhere, they seem to be from like 15 to 20. I'll put a link in the description online, Amazon. They both, they come with just little antenna tubes in the box. This one wouldn't stay on, so I just taped it. Also, the wheels were over-tightened, so they would hit the chassis when I turned. And then that would cause them to lock up. Now I've uh, loosened a screw, so now they'll actually just, they can pop out a little. They have a little more wheel room. See, this can pop out. If it pops out, then it won't hit the chassis so much, and it can turn. Not all of them come with this nice paint, actually. Most of them don't have this shiny surface. Mostly they're just plastic that's been dyed. And the sticker, the sticker jobs are okay. They're not perfect. A little crooked here and there, like this Super Duty sticker on the back. Mine's an F-250 Super Duty. Uh, let's drive it around a little. So the, the lifespan of these trucks... All of my cars are still working. They, they, the... The 124 scale cars and 124 scale trucks are electrically the same. My previous truck died uh, electronically after about over two, a bit over two years of running it. But enough blabbing, let's take it for a spin. Now performing. On this carpet, it's all right. Nothing too great. I'm going to get my jump. All right, I got my ramp right here. I just made it out of a box. Let's see how it does on it. If I can actually hit it. Uh, that was unimpressive. Uh, I don't know. Let's take it outside. Crap. In the garage. Let's see a jump. Alright. Let's get a closer shot. When you've only got one hand available, because the other one's, uh, filming, it can be harder to get a perfectly straight shot. Try it over these pebbles. Here's just some mild rocks and pebbles on pretty flat ground. Doesn't do too great, but it's okay. Gets bogged down a little. It's geared a little high, it doesn't get much torque, so it, it, it doesn't like hills. It most certainly does not like them. 
Here it is up a minor incline. Let's go down it. It does not have suspension, really. It's more just Yeah, it doesn't have suspension. But it's the ten dollar RC car, what do you expect? And I think for ten dollars it's pretty good. Let's try something a little have to give it a push every once in a while to just give it a little help. Occasional push. But it gets around okay. So yeah, um, quality of the paint seems, the painting quality itself seems nice, but there's some flaws in the molding of the plastic, like here there's this little weird dimple, but I think it still looks pretty good. This is actually my second run of this review video, second attempt, I'm trying to keep it a little shorter. It's getting through this grass, well now it isn't, but it was getting through this grass, this is on a downhill. And its battery is not perfect. What it does is, rather than having its battery die, it just, uh, it more just sort of goes miserably slow and gets slower and slower and sl slower until, t so it's basically just barely going fast enough that you'd feel like it's wasteful to throw out those batteries, but it's really pretty miserable. So, until you finally just give up and change them. You keep trying to get all the last juice out of them, run them down. Then you give up, because, yeah. It will eat up all your double A's. And if you want good, if you want really good power, it'll eat up all your disposable double A's. You can use rechargeable ones, but rechargeable ones are lower voltage. Anyway, I don't really have much else to say about that truck. This will about wrap up this review. Um, if you know someone else who would like this video, make sure you share it with them. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you, if you like this content, if you would like more content about both grade and hobby grade remote control vehicles make sure you subscribe and uh bye bye